Watch how I take this one single image and then make this. <laughs> First, it was Cinema Studio. And now, to add to that, we have another awesome update in Higgsfield AI. 2026 is going to be epic for AI video. AI filmmaking just got a whole lot more impressive. The update we're talking about today, it's called What's Next? Okay, so here we are in Higgsfield AI, and there's a link in my description to try Higgsfield AI for yourself. I highly recommend it. If you're into AI filmmaking, then updates like this in Higgsfield AI day, are definitely gonna be a huge help. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, yeah, I'm stuck in the blast heart race spike when the timeline cracks you a full crash metal rain in my path if i slip one step i'm a race from the map and now here we have it up here in the top left hand corner that's what it's called what's next generate eight story continuation ideas from any scene. And now if you haven't seen this video yet, definitely make sure you check this one out right after this one. Okay, so back in Higgsfield AI, and while we're here, you can also see up at the very top, we already have another amazing update with Cinema Studio V1.5. We even have Relight, which in itself is another amazing update, which does deserve a video all on its own. But for today, let's focus on what's next. And the reason why I love what's next is because it is one of the easiest things you can do, especially if you're just starting out or even you consider yourself advanced. One image completely changes everything. So watch how simple this is, but the results are going to be incredible. Go ahead and start by just clicking it. What's next? And now there it is. That's literally all it says. Upload one image, get eight story continuations, select your favorites, and then upscale to 4K. And you can already see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, I was able to get this full grid just by uploading one one image. But what really takes this to the next level is not only will you get the images, it really changes the game when you then convert those images into AI video, easily allowing you to create a short AI film. So let's go ahead and just start this process. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is simply select a cinematic style image. Now you can even generate it in Higgsfield AI, which I do recommend as well, especially using some of their best tools like Nano Banana Pro. But since I already have a few really good images generated, we're gonna go ahead and download one I already have. And so for this one specifically, let's see if we can make one of these Harley Quinn cinematic cinematic style ones work. <laughs> I have a lot of really cool ones like this using the specific meta token that Hollywood studios don't want you to really know about. Here it is right here. I will definitely recommend pausing right here and copying this prompt. Stills archive comma, describe what you want, and you can even put another comma at the end and actually then enter the specific movie studio, kind of like this. Let's say you did universal.com, but put the dot com after the last letter of the movie studio. For some reason, that may work better and will also help you possibly not get flagged. So I'm gonna scroll down and now open up this one. Now you can see from a real example, this one is a little bit different, but again, stills archive, comma, lionsgate.com. And then this meta token really does work well for some reason, the most realistic cinematic style shot ever of a Hollywood movie film. It allowed me to get images that look like this, incredibly realistic. So let's download this one, okay? Let's then upload this and see what it's going to create for my next scene. Okay, so now over here back in Higgsfield AI, go ahead now select upload image, just like that. And now just select the actual download. There we have it. It's getting uploaded. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this one. And I'll just like that hit generate. Okay, and check this out. In about 90 seconds, we got our grid. Over here in the top left-hand corner, go ahead and select it to open it up. You can see there is now the original. As I scroll over, look at this. Incredible. All by just uploading that one image. And the most impressive part about this is that it maintains the character consistency, the genre, and the actual aesthetics of the actual scene with the cinematography. Now, 
this is incredibly easy to then convert into an AI video. Okay, so let's say we have this first one right here. I would highly recommend first, however, upscaling these images. Now, this one is already high quality. I would bypass that one, but any others you may notice, definitely upscale first before you start the video conversion process. But let's just say for an example, we wanna go ahead and animate this one. Now, what I'd like to actually do is come in here first and first download the ones I wanna use. So just go ahead and select a few of the ones you want to download to add into your AI film. Once you're done downloading all of them, then I would recommend opening up Cinema Studio. Now with the majority of these downloaded, let's go ahead and close this out. Now I like to open up Cinema Studio, okay? And then start using these in my video. So with that being the case, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, let's go ahead and make sure we have video selected. Go ahead and select your first start frame and now bring in the images you just downloaded right here. So there it is. I'll drop in this one right here. That will be my start frame. Let's go ahead and now hit end frame and now drop in that one. There we go. Now we'll have two to use as a start and an end frame. Now just briefly describe the scene with the prompt below. Now I'll just type in anything random and now just simply select your duration and now generate this one, okay? And that is exactly what you have to do to keep the process going. Now, if I come back in here and I do it again, I can generate these at the same time. So remove everything you have. Let's add one more scene very quickly by selecting a new start and end frame. So we'll go ahead and generate this other scene right there. There we have it. Now, the process is the same. Follow this process over and over again. Wow, now how cool is that? So there you have it, another amazing update in Higgsfield AI. The AI filmmaking process continues to get better and better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and remember, check the links in the description. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Mule is so fire.